this week we're excited about the ordinations of deacons and priests across Church of England, Birmingham for service in the local communities. That word vocation or calling is often closed into an understanding of priestly or diaconal ministry in the church. But of course, it's, it's a calling for those who have skills and also for those who have faith. I see calling as something that starts with our calling to be human beings, to be fully human. And that may start well or badly, but uh, is a discovery of love and loving and a discovery of exercising our talents and all the things that uh, God has made us. And then there's a calling uh, to follow Jesus Christ, uh, the calling to be a Christian. I was blessed by finding my understanding of Christ at an early age through reading the Bible at a school I went to just 60 years ago today uh, as a starting point of leaving home. But from the Bible then, the living community of Christians was revealed to me in uh, Uganda, where I was uh, serving amongst uh, people who were disabled in the beginning of Idi Amin's minist uh, ministry of, of terror across that country. And there I discovered the calling to follow Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. But it wasn't until I was in the middle of a business career uh, that the depth of that calling on a human being and on a Christian was made clear by meeting uh, Mother Teresa in Calcutta in 1976. I was excited about seeing her famous work amongst the poor and the dying and trying to discover how that would connect up with someone who already was involved in a worldwide multinational oil industry. Meeting her over lunch after I'd been preaching uh, for the first time in my life in a church in Calcutta. She looked at me quietly and just said, are you all for Jesus? And I think that's a very uh, clear and powerful question for any of us uh, who are on the Christian way, particularly in this time of pandemic, particularly as we see people giving their lives uh, in a particular kind of service uh, in the church or in the local parishes or our local communities or our places of work as Christians. Are you all for Jesus? And so uh, when we read the scripture at a time of licensing or perhaps in times of uh, encouragement uh, from the way that Paul talked to the church in Thessalonica, in the Bible of the letter of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 24. He who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. So let us grow in our uh, adventure, in our risk-taking, and in the promise of faithful calling by the living God, Jesus Christ, as we set out into an uncertain autumn, but one that can be exercised confidently uh, because of our mutual fellowship in Christ and his calling on our lives.